In tonight's top stories, workers in Sun Prairie are standing up for their rights and saying that they deserve better. And they're getting support from a U.S. Senate candidate. Tamia Folks joins us now with their demands. Last May, the Federal Trade Commission and six states filed a lawsuit against the Frontier, Frontier Communication. Included in those complaints were claims of poor internet service and excessively high service prices. Today, the company is facing a new challenge. We're organizing for our contract negotiations coming up. For nearly four hours on Saturday, in icy, wet conditions, employees at Frontier Communications stood at the corner of Bristol and Maine. And we were just trying to mobilize, get, get the word out, get everybody engaged, so that this time around, bargaining maybe goes a little bit better than last time. Joining members of the Communication Workers of America in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois, workers called for fair wages and better work conditions. They've got all this money to build new fiber networks and do all these things for the customers, which is wonderful for the customers, but they also then need to, you know, make sure they're rewarding their employees who have stuck around. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2020. Since then, employees say that they have seen few changes made to address their financial needs. But we kept this company afloat, not only just our five states, obviously the whole nation, but our five states seems to be the ones who get the least through any of these contracts. U.S. Senate candidate Tom Nelson attended the rally this morning. He said that rallies like this one will likely become more common in the state. This is a nationwide issue, a nationwide problem, and so I think companies like Frontier like Amazon, like Starbucks, are going to start paying attention and trying to, and, and hopefully realize that they have got to do all they can to 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 improve uh, you know working conditions. Employees also hope to address unjustified instances of involuntary termination. Employees tell me their calls for action won't stop today, and further steps will be taken as the negotiation process continues.